zucchini, we added two tablespoons of our roasted garlic grapeseed oil. This stuff, you can really smell the garlic in there. It's great. Now, we also added about a tablespoon of our garlic herb blend. And this stuff pairs amazingly with the grapeseed oil here. So we're going to mix this up a little bit. We want to make sure we get an even coating on the zucchinis here. Not too much though. Just enough so you can taste it. You know, move it around a little bit. Now, our griddle here is pretty slick and I'm not worried too much about it, but I really don't want any of this stuff to stick, so use a little bit of our vegetable oil cooking spray. Just your standard. We'll take our zucchinis here, put them onto the heat. Now I'm not exactly sure on the time on these, you're just kind of going to want to keep an eye on them, go by feel, however you like your zucchinis cooked is how long you're going to want to cook them for. We got our griddle on right about 350 right now, and they're getting a pretty, they're starting to sizzle pretty good. Come over and get a, take a look at this. Wish you could have some mm. smell vision because this is booming, loud. <laughs> For real. Oh man. That's two zucchini cut up. Two zucchini cut up. Could have gone with a little less than two tablespoons of oil. We'll put a little more seasoning mm -hmm. on there. Again, then him. <laughs> get it on there. Now, once we get our seasoning, we're gonna want to rub it in a little bit. You know, since we aren't marinating these overnight or anything, we want to get that seasoning. You know, rub right into the fish. Okay. Now we're gonna flip our fish over. Take a little bit more of the oil, not much, just a little drizzle on there. Once again, rub it all around a little bit. And take another pinch of our seasoning. Just like that, not too much. <laughs> Rub that in again. See, not too much. You know, I don't want it to overpower the fish. I want it to complement the fish. Okay. Okay, now we're going to let those sit for a second while our zucchini finishes. Going. Alright. So, we have our swordfish. As you can see we have a clean griddle now. We put our zucchini in the oven wrapped in some tin foil just to keep warm. It's literally turned down under 150. We're just keeping it warm in there while the meat gets cooking. So we're going to take our swordfish, lay it down on here. Now we got it set still at 375 here on the griddle. Apparently there's claims you can just eat this raw, but the research that I've done says you want it at 140 degrees in the middle to make sure it's safe to eat. So what we're going to do is just kind of keep an eye on it, um, flip it, probably going to do about five minutes on each side just to be sure, maybe a little bit less. Okay, while this is cooking, we're going to prepare our steak for the steak salads. Friday night feast. Steak salad, zucchini, and swordfish. Pretty damn good. Alright, so we moved our swordfish over, made some room on the griddle. Now we're going to throw, well we already threw our rancher steak rub on our thinly sliced, what do they call this here, stir fry beef? Yep. Um, pretty lean cuts, um, we've been getting it recently. I don't know, it's, it cooks really fast, um, really good and flavorful, so we're going to throw this on here. On this stuff, I like my meat a little mid-rare, so 
it's almost on and off here. You just got to pull it on, put it on, let it kind of get a sear, flip it right over. Um, we oiled these up with the uh, roasted garlic grapeseed oil just because, I don't know, I'm a big garlic fan. Whoop. And here we have it, the final product. We got a steak salad, some zucchini, and our perfectly seared swordfish. Oh, uh, voila! Bing! Mama. Looking good. That's how we do it. Peace.